What makes you say that and what's, or asking what's going on with math or what's going on with art is a great routine to, for students to learn how to reason with evidence. And it promotes an independence because they go back to the work themselves as opposed to relying on me for a cue. And it's a routine that can be adapted to any topic. It works for me because I wouldn't just give an answer and then be like, oh, I don't know why I picked the answer because you have to have reasons for why you picked anything that you picked. It makes my brain get more detailed and specific. Normally, some people um, just say the answers and they don't have like um, backup um, reasonings to support it. I've been at this school for 11 years, and right now we're seeing this beautiful coming together of rigorous academics and really innovative, artful thinking, and that's not a coincidence. The two go hand in hand, because when you use visuals and visual texts and paintings and artful thinking, you are inviting more people into the learning. It's an act of equity because it really makes space for every single student at the table. It makes space for their voice, which means it makes space for their perspective, it makes space for their thinking, and it just kind of like is this ripple effect of building and building and building. And it's, in, it's so important that every child gets to be a part of that and engage with that, otherwise the whole community suffers. It's cool to see a picture when you walk into a class and makes you th think that you're going to have a fun class because it's like a big picture on the board. Well, I have lots of things to say. Um, I value it that, we, that like, we actually dig more deeper into, like, for example, in the, in the picture that we're looking, they just look, like, in their faces. You could feel, like, their depression. You could feel, like, the things that, like, are inside them. And we're noticing, like, things from the pictures and everything. But then we dug more deeper into our learning. And that's how we um, actually understand more things. And maybe in problems of life, we could also understand, like, how to, like, understand how to un go more deeper into our experiences. Students just internalize them. You don't have to sort of articulate them in the classroom anymore. They are just a natural part of the student's thinking. Um, so um, what makes you say that? Um, I use it occasionally, but most of the time I don't have to use it because a student always now justifies why they are telling me something. And I think we see this throughout the school, um, in the English department, in the science department, and it's just embedded now um, in our culture. So I think that we have created this culture of thinking within our institution. Mm -hmm.